Center High School, I'm Melanie Sibbles. This is our Thursday edition of CTV. Here is the Lip Dub update. Gay Bromo has scheduled meetings with every club and sports team to make sure that everybody knows what to do for the Lip Dub project. The meetings will be after school or during lunch in the library this week. Today, dance club and dance team, baseball, wrestling, track and cross country, and tennis meet during both lunches. Anime, Spanish, and RPG meet after school. All of these meetings will be held in the library except for on Friday. Friday, all clubs will meet after school on Friday in the quad as a quick reminder to which position you are in and what shirt to wear. If you do not hear your club's name, it is because your club is a class. Gabe will be visiting your classroom sometime this week. The Lip Dub will be filmed during advocacy on Monday, May 18th, which is 11 days from today. We will keep you updated on everything to make sure everyone is ready. Purchase your Epic Yearbook for $75 at the ASB office or online at yearbookordercenter.com and use the code 7444. They have not run out of books yet. In fact, they just acquired 20 more books to sell. Seniors, the Rotary Club of Foothill Highlands is offering 20 $500 scholarships. There is no minimum GPA requirement. More information is available at the College and Career Center. Dance team auditions will be held on Monday, May 11th, from 3.15 to 6 p.m. in the dance room. You must have a sports physical completed to audition. You may pick up a dance packet in the CHS Student Center. The cheerleading clinic is May 18th to 19th from 3 to 4.30, and tryouts are May 20th from 3 to 4.30. You must have a completed sports packet with a completed physical before you can attend the clinics. Congratulations to Connor Wells, who took second place in the 800 meter at the Arc Meet of Champions. Connor broke the school's 17 year record set in 1997. Rally MC tryouts will be held Wednesday in the gym during the beginning of both lunches. Now it's time for today's feature. Reporter Gabe Romo has an interview with Brendan Green from Antelope High School to talk about the Antelope Community Fun Run. Well, I'm Brendan, I'm from Antelope High School. Um, we wanted to do a run over at Antelope in benefit of Shriners Children's Hospital. They provide all care regardless of family's ability to pay. So we thought, hey, why don't we put something together? We have the park right there. So we got in touch with the park district and they really helped us out and so we have a run plan. And we want the people at Center High School, staff, um, staff members, students, all to come out and help support us. Well, a lot of the biomedical science programs at Antelope emphasize community involvement and that's why I was trying to bridge the gap between community involvement and still something that has to do with medicine. I thought it would be a good idea to have just the whole community to come together for a bigger cause. So we had to go to the school district first and say, hey, can we do this on the property? They said, yes, the principal was all for it. All the staff members at Antelope were for it. They were saying, yes, this is a great idea. So then after that, we went to the park district. I know a lot of people there, and so they were really able to help us out with price-wise and help lower the costs. We had a GoFundMe account, which is very successful, and we were able to get enough funds raised to help pay for the rental of the park. Other than that, it's gone really smoothly. We have a band coming in from Antelope that's gonna play like a rock band. And so not like a marching band, but so it should be a pretty fun time. Like I was saying before, I think it's a really, I feel like this could be an event that really brings the whole community together. Normally, like football or whatnot, we're rivals, so why not do something where we can come together and instead of getting half the money we could raise for this cause, why not get double the money just by combining our schools? It's time for another hashtag challenge, Cougars. This week's theme is your best flashback Friday. We will feature the top five best flashbacks this Friday during our hashtag challenge segment. Remember, these photos are for the Moving Up rally this year, so hashtag them CHS Moving Up and be a winner this week. That's it for today's show. If you have any news or information you would like on CTV, please stop by room 305 and tell us. I'm Melanie Civils, and thanks for watching CTV.